Hello everyone, you're watching your favorite channel, Crypto TV. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, your host who's going to lead you into the fantastic and mind-blowing journey of digital currencies. And today, we are going to discuss what is this cryptocurrency all about. So bringing to you the basics of cryptocurrency. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a type of a currency that is digital and decentralized. Yes, you heard me right. Cryptocurrencies can be used to buy and sell things and their potential to store and grow value has also caught the eyes of many investors. There are thousands of cryptocurrencies available in the market today. The most popular and the original cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. Bitcoin was created in 2009. The other common cryptocurrencies include Ethereum, XRP and Bitcoin Cash. Each of these currencies serve a different purpose. While some are used in the place of cash, the others are used for direct transactions. Cryptocurrencies are wholly digital, so there is no physical coin or bill that is connected to the crypto that you own. Owners hold cryptocurrencies in a digital wallet and buy and sell them through online exchange. Your wallet may be online or stored offline on a device which is similar to your USB drive. Decentralization is a primary tenet of all cryptocurrencies. Whereas most currencies are backed by a central bank, like for example, the US dollar, which is backed by the full faith and credit of the US government, cryptocurrencies are usually maintained and valued by their users. Now let's find out how cryptocurrency transactions actually happen. Cryptocurrency transactions are recorded on a decentralized ledger. This ledger is called blockchain. Every time a cryptocurrency is bought or sold, the transaction is added to the blockchain. A blockchain is a public database of transactions which is available to all crypto holders. Anyone can join and participate on the blockchain, but data on individual transactions and the people involved with them are secured using cryptography. Cryptography, which is the basis for the term cryptocurrency. For each transaction added to the blockchain, there is a digital validation process, which verifies it and prevents any kind of fraud. Now, what can we do with cryptocurrency? Let's find out. While the characteristics of cryptocurrency are both that of currency and investments, there is still a debate among experts whether cryptocurrency is clearly one or the other. As its name suggests, you can use cryptocurrency to make purchases. But your purchasing power is limited. Crypto isn't widely accepted among retailers or other businesses. But for many people, crypto is type of an alternative investment. Just as you can buy and trade in stock markets in the public companies, you can also buy cryptocurrency with the hope that it will increase in value over time, allowing you to cash out for a profit or at a later date. Some people invest in crypto less for the belief that it will become a popular currency, but more for the belief that it is a bet on the blockchain technology which goes behind it. Cryptocurrencies do share characteristics of commodities like gold. Yes, they can be bought and sold for cash. Very similar to Forex or the foreign exchange trading, there can be significant risks involved with largely unregulated market and your best bet is yet to get informed beforehand so that you don't invest your money that you cannot afford to lose. Only clear regulations may help us to understand how to use cryptocurrency and what its future may look like, but we aren't there yet. Well, that was all about the basics of cryptocurrency. Well, I'm super excited to get into the groove and jump into this bandwagon. Are you not? If you are, keep watching your favorite channel, Crypto TV, with me, Vinita Chatterjee.